We, are we ready, chat? Episode 25. A fiery family reunion. We're getting the band back together. We're gonna have... I don't know. In terms of, like, what's gonna happen, I have no idea. I'm assuming... Fiery family reunion is probably Vulcan. Uh, and maybe Korax? Yeah, probably Korax. Because he's being guarded by the Salamanders right now, so I don't know what's up with that. We're gonna find out! Oh yeah, this is, uh, Kimura. They're gonna find some Drukari. Kim oh, not Kimura, the Black Library, sorry. I knew what I was thinking in my head, I didn't say it though. <laughs> I know you saw the terrorists play the part of the stripper girl, but this- They changed his- This is bad. They changed his font. When we first meet him, he has a different font. This is scary font. He's gonna like, this is bad. This is bad. I know you saw the terrorists play the part of the stripper girl, but this Ooh. is ridiculous! Ooh. Ooh. A new intro. I dig it. <laughs> Get away from me, man. <clears throat> You're really putting the math in method acting. <laughs> That's so dumb. Oh, they sound scared. Quiet. Well, now we'll at least have an easy time spotting the blind solitaires in the library. It won't be hard. Uh, uh, I don't like this. I'm so scared. What's the deal with strip club food? Ah. <laughs> uh. He's called him Champ. This fine. This fine. Eldar, I demand your attention. Oh. I am a weapon of shredded destruction. I'm sure she is shredded. I require sustenance befitting of a true warrior of the Emperor. Oh. Your meager Xenos food you presented me with could not sate starvation in a rodent, no less a human at peak performance! Yes! You tread the paths of the swole, a rare divergence amongst your kind. Where are you hiding the protein? Give me the protein! Protein! Cease your silence, Xenos. I am Ephrael Stern. Your kind wanted yeah. me here, and I demand proper nourishment. Yes. Or I will punch something really hard in the face. Most likely that humongous mind creature. Its face makes me angry. Yeah. Are you worshippers of it? You harlequins have poor taste in jokes, directing your faith towards a lanky grot in a bag. Oh. I'm leaving uh. now. I uh. expect food to be ready before my next bit of hunger cramps, or I will start a book burning. Dang. Okay, you all can enter the library now. I have to go plot the demise of the flesh eaters for saying my other other queen's taste of slapstick and solemn jokes. <laughs> Everybody's a critic. Are you just gonna let them in? They don't have a library card. That'd be funny if they, like, w did away with the library card necessities after Armin, like, couldn't go in because he didn't have one. That'd be funny. I think it is gone now. I feel dead on the inside. You should. The Zynga. Huh. Huh. Might as well go inside, yes. Yes. Let us go. You're just casually walking in? Okay. Okay, then. Guess Do we'll find out later. Terror no longer bears any natural water, Father. Yeah. Yes, I am aware of. That too is funny. Why is it funny? Why? 
Because how did that even happen? Um, it boiled away due to nuclear wars and massive overpopulation. Boiling water does not remove it from the planet. Puts it in the atmosphere for um, sure. It was stolen by people and brought off the planet. How would one steal one sextillion, two hundred and sixty quintillion liters? He knows exactly how many liters of water. I mean, I, I'm sure you can uh, do the calculations and just throw it in, into Google or something, but... Liters of water in an age of limited space travel and relatively small vessels. Then it was definitely magic to weigh into the warp by those asshole psychers. So most of Terra's natural water now resides in the immaterium. Definitely. That makes it even funny. Why is it funny, Speaking though? Of water, I need to somehow poorly segue into the fact that Brother Fitzstitch and the Exceptional Hell <laughs> have not fucking returned yet. I do not see what that has to do with water, Father. Damn it, Rogel. You are going to drive me to tears <laughs> with this new brand of zass blasting you are forcing upon me. Tears are usually made of water, and those custodians tend to collect your tears when you sleep. Oh. The fuck did you just say? What? When a loyal subject of the Imperium dies in That's combat, awkward. your empty eye socket produces a single minuscule tear. No, it does not. Yes, it does. No. Yes. No. Yeah. I mean, you cuddled with him for a few nights in a row. I think Dorne would know that they do that. <laughs> Dorne doesn't lie, and that's the concerning part. Yes. I never thought you, my one upright and honest son, would ever pick up the habit of making up the stupidest of fucking lies. It is no lie, father. With the exception of saying sober people, no. I have not. Quote, He's unquote, sad. Cried for at least 500 years. No. Last time no. I caused massive floods everywhere. No. Shut the fuck up, I am flashback. No. <laughs> it's his original. Wait, it. Did it break his kneecap? Yeah, it probably hurt. It probably hurt. No, you cry all the time. Oh. By my ravishing ribcage, I most certainly do not. Oh, no. I am a skeleton. Skeletons cannot cry, Rogo. That is what makes it funny. Go play with <laughs> building blocks on a field, you <laughs> insensitive child. I shall do this. Do not actually do no, it. No, don't do it. Your terrorist freeways could surely be improved. So could my current company. Speaking of, oh my to complete gosh. this dumb segue, I sure wish the Leather Spandex Society would make their homecoming soon. <laughs> soon as in right the fuck now, you grease goblins. Oh, grease go- I'd rather be a, a clown goblin or clown gremlin than a grease goblin. Don't want to be a, a grease goblin. No, 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 no. It did tea work. Did you expect their timely return when you uttered those words? It usually works. People do not appear out of nowhere when you say words like <laughs> that. Uh, <laughs> that to whoever writes this shit. <laughs> you are writing your speech out upon your text-to-speech device, father. Are you blaming yourself? I feel physical fucking pain when Aww. you speak, and I barely even have a nervous system. You Aww. have a mustard mustached homunculus. Would you like me to refill your anesthetic tank? Can we just be completely and utterly silent for a few minutes instead? Yes, just, just, just let him be sad. Just let him be sad. <laughs> yes, I shall show you how silent and unmoving I have been these past millennia, father. <laughs> what is he doing? Why does he do that? Why? I have probably said this a few hundred times already. Excuse my pentiment complaints. But the webway fucking sucks! Yeah! It's like a massive incandescent head space with edges made of fairy dust and head days! Edges are Cactus Sicarius! Where I, Cactus Sicarius, find it positively delightful! Well, it's really no wonder, is it? You and the webway share a lot in common! Overpowered? Are you referring to the fact that I, Cactus Sicarius, provide seemingly endless power to a bright future and remain the last hope in the small species? <laughs> no! I mean that both of you fucking suck! My glorious <laughs> chapter master, 
As the Bethelian's clonometers are reporting higher levels of hog in this section of the webway. Data rate reports calculate we will arrive in roughly 8.5 standard Terran hours. Oh, thank Emperor. This means we're finally making progress. Oh. Anyways, punch Ilian in the face for we do not allow him any screen time. Got it? Yes. Pardon me, my lord. But what do you mean by do not allow him screen He is breaking the fourth wall. Dun dun dun. Dun dun dun. <laughs> time. See you. It's a fancy phrase for keeping him veiled, Breaking obscured, the fourth wall. Concealed, shrouded, unobserved, hidden. Force him under a massive blanket or something. We need to keep him as irrelevant oh. as possible. But, but why? Don't ask questions. Don't oh ask questions. I oh. can graciously help you to a boot to the head as well if you <laughs> would like. Well, I'm not serious with that. Uh, oh, and my lord, I do not wish to overstep, but I would but also you're like about to inform to. you about the massive ghost titan standing before you. What? Ah. Uh. You puny monkai dare tread the paths of the Eldar webway? Foolish primitives. What? We are the lost phantom titan of Moriori. Oh. We have traversed the labyrinthine roads of the webway for millennia after the oh. destruction of our prideful by your filthy species. We have ever yearned for the day when we could slaughter Monkai once again. Our food, our water, our oxygen, our very means of survival have all been the products of our infernal hatred for your kind. And now, you come to meet your demise by our hand. You come to satiate our incessant hunger Don't monologue, they're gonna get you. <laughs> yeah, it is pretty big and terrifying. But honestly, it's got skinny legs. I mean, I know it's made of, like, machine, but it's got, like, really skinny legs. I imagine those are, like, easy, easier to take down than, like, the Titans, the Imperial Titans that are a bit, like, have a lower center of gravity. This one's probably more agile, but I'm not familiar with it enough to give you good lore on it. It's a machine! Oh, yeah. Punch, punch, punch. Oh yeah, he's super OP. He's uh, he's like one punch man. Oh <laughs> yeah, one punch man. <laughs> Thanks for the bit. Oh, it finally sir. came. Right. Oh, we have been sent on the most holy mission, sir. We were told to retrieve and escort the White Scars Primarch, Jagatai Khan, out of the webway while we are still here. Nice. We'll go do that first. He's depressed. Everyone, prepare your jump packs. We need to be soaring with utmost speed for this mission. I evidently do not require one as I have Terminator armor. That makes positively zero sense, Chapter Master! Shut your face, you shit girl! I do what I want! He no does what he wants, me. chat. Did he just... Cool. Very, very good for him. Got to Zacarius. <laughs> I like doing that voice, it's funny. Oh yeah. Where are That's you? Silence, companion. We've not made it this far to be spotted by the children of Vulcan. Can you just use another worldly magic since I'm invisible or something? Get, no, stop that. Cease your hackneyed propositions, you obstinate poor. Wow, he saved your soul from Zinch, and you're just going to, you're just, you're just gonna say that to him. He owns your soul. You better talk nicely to him at least. No! I want to make it like a stout and sneak in unseen. Why are you talking? I miss being able to do this, going on an adventure, seeing worlds, needing to think tactically. Ah, uh, reminds me of the crusade in a way. Oh. You're a ten foot tall winged demon man. 
The only ones who won't see you are people actively choosing not to believe you exist. Now you're just being condescending. That's very out of character. And you're being illogical. That's even more out of character. Oh, oh. No, no, you're right. Let us make use of a conventional stratagem involving copious amounts of invisibility with minimal effort on our part. Uh. Just like the Tau would. Are you- Wow. Stay Low back. blow. Oh, shit. Do you want to fight? What? We'll break into your reliquary, you spouter! What? Gonna take all your artifacts and wear them out! What? We're gonna take your engine thing! What? I'll slap your shit, I swear on me mum! Me mum was a Jew! A Jew did not fucking Everest! What? Fuck! <laughs> More memories! Forget this ever happened, please, and thank you. <laughs> it's really quiet, what? There it is. Get him. The engine of woe. It's called the engine of woes. Of course it is. And Korax is inside it. Ah! Yes. It's a... Why is it a smart car? Why is it... The complex machinery that makes up its structure is said to be forged out of Vulcan's very own angst and fury. He exercised all but his most ingrained hatred wow. of his body and into this machine. It is said that sometimes you can even hear the ethereal moans of his despair and anguish echo through it. Is that really true? Wow. Hello. I'm trying to express my ethereal moans of despair. It's it's not Vulcan, it's just Korax, just like, oh, oh I'm so sad. Oh Eternally into the decaying halls of time. Could you please leave? Evidently yes. Ah. So how are we gonna get it out of here? Well, since you've been insistent in your complaints on taking the easiest routes possible throughout all this, they're just gonna take it. Hold of it and teleport back to the ship. Good. Smart, but smart. Yeah, we'll be teleported right back to Terra, but I guess this is better than sneaking it out of the trolley car or whatever you were planning earlier. You have no sense of adventure. Yeah, but you're also, taking yeah, undue risks. <laughs> You've been hanging around father too much. His passive aggressive attitude has rubbed off on you like your brothers with so much body oil. <laughs> Nevertheless, grab <laughs> on to me and we'll be out of here. <clears throat> what? What? Uh, who's there? Ah. Oh. Sorry, please. This here corner of the room is very dark for some reason. I tend to use it for a <laughs> dramatic event. <laughs> this one tries to grab me flashy bits. By the gods. Do you recognize me, brother? Yes, we got the boy. How long has it been, Magnus? We have three Primarchs in the same room. Yeah, no. Since you did that whole betrayal thing. Remember that? That was certainly a thing you did, Swart! Why is he speaking like that? Yeah. Oh, 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 hey there, Vulcan! How's it going? <laughs> How are you even alive? Why am I alive? Why would I want to be dead? Being alive is fun! All my friends are here! Besides, yeah, I yeah. try being dead. Unpleasant it was! Uh, Almost as unpleasant I think he has some PTSD chat. Fun. Look at him. Do you see his damn little ghost Oh, face? gosh. He is like a skull no, ghost. No, it's yeah. Ghost. Ghost. No, why are you alive Skulls. in here? You went missing and everyone assumed you died fighting the beast, right? Oh, yeah. I suppose that means the artifacts actually worked. Yay. That makes no sense. Why would that work? That can't be it. That's stupid. <laughs> Artifacts are stupid, yes. Yeah. I intended their destruction, but a dear friend of old persuaded me otherwise. So I gave him the responsibility of securing them. I am uncertain what became of them afterwards. Other than that, they disappeared. And yet you are alive! Whoa, whoa, Why is he so he mad? Because it worked? entirely unrelated to the artifacts, Ray. Really? Oh. My intelligence was almost criminally insulted. We knew generalize enough at that. Whoa, energy! The green uh, skin boys are always right about Yeah, what, what's going on we here? never be too sure about what will happen. See, I was. Fortnite Grind Warbles on the yeah. And our random got into a reactor 
for a son of the joy. Hmm. Then I channelize these savage energies through my mind and body. And Zogan smashed a boy scout with all the mortar can muster. And then everything exploded. exploded. And you survived that. <laughs> yeah, he survives a lot. Absolutely not. My body exploded in a squall of gore. They spread it all across time and space. At some point, however, after what felt like an eternity in the blackest of points, I came to once more. Then I sat down in this here corner. You just sat there? You were just sitting in that corner what? for nine God's damned millennia! <laughs> yeah, talk about boredom. Oh, fuck. Wait, no. I do not recall exactly when my consciousness ran back into my head. This is... But I did find an old job Jim learned about. Decided to go surprise my boys on Prometheus. Very then cool. I discovered I was already on Prometheus. Nice. So I jumped down in a drink claw and said hello to everyone. Why haven't there any drop shippers at all that to come back down on a drop pod? That's because the last time I dropped through a planet's atmosphere without a pod, I burned to a grease. <sighs> my ability to think thoughts was way far gone after that. Fair enough, fair but enough. Day, pain and I became the best of friends. That is undoubtedly disturbing. Yeah, when you die that many also, times, I imagine you feel you pain you frequently. Blush your engine, says your glossy kid! Okay, for real, something is wrong with his brain. It's the darkest corner in the system. Eerily similar to the blackest boy that injured upon dying the death. It feels very homey, so I set up a major oh, workshop <laughs> in it. Ever heard of Battle Maze 42 million? That is just <laughs> Battle <fucking> Maze. Stupid! <laughs> Battle Maze! <laughs> 42 million. <laughs> you are right, friends. Now give me a hug. No, no, keep back. I have no idea why you're so friendly given everything that's happened, but yeah, this is, this is weird. Your I got nothing but friendliness for you because you are my big, friendly, big brother friend. You take another step and I'll ensure that you really are dead. Well, come now, Magnus. I do not mean harm. I but want to give my brother a great big I'm not mad that you ruined everything forever. That <laughs> was Logar, God damn it! He's a big Magnus angry. Come here, brother. Take another step and I'll give you what for. Oh, 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 oh dang. Oh, you blubbering ass shit, Adam Pate. Oh, 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 oh. I'm physically <laughs> ill. I can Feel the amount of oh. radiating from the surface thoughts and sun on everything. Oh, no way. I've got no millions of hugs to give you. Come here, you get <laughs> Have you ever tried to like hug your sibling and your sibling doesn't like hugs? You basically have to do that to them. I understand. I've had to do this. I like to. I like to do that to my siblings. I'll just be like, all right, it's hug time. And they're like, no, 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 no hugs. I'm like, ah, it's too late. It's too late. You're going to get hugged. And then you like, you have to like smash them. You have to like really like smash really tight with the hugs. <laughs> I, I would want a hug from Vulcan wouldn't be too bad. I don't know about this one, though. It's a little it's a little scary. Yeah, usually it's intentional that it hurts. Like, you give them an extra hard squeeze because you're like, yeah, you got to feel a little bit of pain. That's a sibling thing. I don't quite understand it. <laughs> <laughs> Let's get Korax involved. <laughs> Is it because? Oh, I wonder if it's because Magnus said Lorgar. And now Korax is like, ah, oh, it's Lorgar. I got to get him. I hate that guy. <laughs> This spine, while incorporeal, still recoils at the touch since it was broken by Lehman Brothers. Ooh, Russ. yeah. I punched out one of his hearts! Why does nobody remember that? <laughs> Don't worry, little friend of Siva. The hug shall come for you as well. Oh, no. I shall see to that. Please do not do that. I mean it, Vulcan! Release me immediately! No. <laughs> Angry. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Wait. You just that wasn't meant to You just threw that. Well. Not fucking now. Oh. 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 Ouch. Hello, 
darkness, my <laughs> old friend. Oh. Well. He's dead. I know. Kill the Primarch. Yes, I know. Good job, Kill man. The Primarch who was supposed to be dead, but now he's actually dead. I, I guess. I didn't mean to kill him. I just wanted him to go away. <laughs> Wait, I think there's a solution to this. He's a perpetual. It's okay. Just, just need to think for a The little ah! Corax. Ah! Fresh air upon my skin is like the flinching daggers <laughs> of a thousand thousand medial urchins <laughs> going in a sack of potatoes. My existence is fraught with calls and pointless angst in the midst of this disgusting reality. The light burns. Or I am this worthy to watch. Welcome to the Total War Tutorial. I'm listening to you and reading the text in the midst of I'm sad. It's too bright. I want to go back in the box. <laughs> Wanting to go outside was a terrible idea. Every VTuber ever. <laughs> the box does not judge. It just hates. Is that really Corvus Corvus? Why is Corvus here? What is happening? Oh, great. It's Magnus. Saved from my compact, environmentally friendly prison of music <laughs> by a traitor. How entirely fitting for my own failures. Oh my gosh. But memories in the depths of history, forgotten forevermore. Now I see the Crimson King before me, disgustingly mm -hmm. alive. Ew, gross. So many loyal have fallen. A fitting punishment. Oh, and you, murdered Vulcan. Murdered Vulcan. It's the drop side massacre. Ha ha! Shit. I'm so sorry. Now all we require is the flayed silvered skull of our brother Ferris. <laughs> gawking at us. Radiating his entirely disgusting <laughs> It shall be a regular family reunion. Yes, roll Awful, credits. Awkward and an atrocity upon family values. <laughs> you are we. Yes, there it is. Us. Aware, Ferris. Thank you. Who are you talking to? A brother fallen. One whom you did not even have the gall to come and slay like the rest of your traitor's ilk. Uh, speaking of which, I'm totally gonna kill you once I remember how to use my legs. Yes. <laughs> Where did he go? He's using his wraith slip. He's making his presence unknown to us. Ooh. With this ability, he can erase his very perception that he exists from our minds, rendering him as a non-entity. Plus so fifteen to stealth. Going invisible. Yes, pretty much. Just <laughs> that from the beginning, none of this would have happened. <laughs> oh no. What is now done to our precious Lord Lava Nugget? Lava Nugget. Oh, oh right, my goodness. Let's go, 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 go back to the Imperial Palace. Oh, he like wrapped him up with his Curses, wings. They disappear. What are we going to do, Tushan? Vulcan is dead. Oh God! Oh God! The is forthright. He's down. We must needs give pursuit, lest the reprobates make their way to their destination unhindered. Obfuscating the skull, however, is the lack of knowledge of their destination. Yeah. Where does they mean to retreat? They said the Imperial Palace. How foreboding. Excruciatingly super distressing. <laughs> Long have I languished within the engine of woes, jumped into here by my beloved, somewhat insane, perpetually happy brother. What have I not been? Wait, he put him in there? That's the weird. Palace. It must be like Magnus orc version Red. of him. Nine times damned traitor could so easily slip inside. Corvies. Huh? I also Corvus. It makes sense that he has a beard and a mustache, but like it looks weird. I imagine this dude like clean shaven. So seeing him with the beard and mustache just throws me off. Oh no! Oh no! Oh, I missed you, friend. Oh look, 
Falcon is alive again. That's normal, though. Falcon Yay! <laughs> it has not gone by that I have not thought of you, my brother. Stop. Or your cold dead skin <laughs> smell of ammonia, brother friend. So that's why my nose doesn't work anymore. Lord Morgan, alas. We have travail to inform now about those are supposed to go return or something. Ah! Oh no. What? Terra? Was that why Silverboy had the distinct shape of a custodian? Oh, but he's not. Get off this moon now, please. We need to go to the Imperial Palace. Like Let's right do it. Now. Immediately. Very fast. Plus this brightest light and volcanic ash drifts in the air like blackened snowflakes upon the canvas of my albino skin so <laughs> Magnus is still in the yes! I wasn't done extrapolating. I need to finalize the hugging of Magnus. Ew. Nothing now motivates me more. Oh, no. We need to find him again so this grand event can continue its course. My purpose has been made clear then. I must lash Magnus to super death. Oh, so super no death. More of this filthy traitor love can be spread. Yes. Oh, and I'm going yes. to show my poems to dear father's corpse. Therefore, yes, do it. He'll, he'll put him on his fridge. Up. I'm certain dear father, betrayed by nine, will find something I have made. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> yes. But the skeletal remains must too be embraced, they do. One oh. little bone at a time. But first, mm. I must make a tour of the Imperium of Mark. It has been too long this since is... I have gotten a breath of fresh air. We shall see the works we fought for. And that Korax is going to be like, it's, it's, it's not long enough that I've gotten to breathe fresh air. After that, we shall see our dad boy. Dad that boy? Oh, that's the orc bleeding through. Now let us all go. Dad boy. Adventure! Adventure! Ah, yes. Adventure. <laughs> yes. Bro trip. Bro trip. That was a fascinating experience. Really, it's no one to kidding this such a kill. <laughs> he must have filled all the fun parts of his brain up. What is that in front of his face? He has like the codexes? Oh, he got those from the library. That's what it is. Text stuff. Where did you two extra greasy bacon strips go off to? Ew. A small sliver of the great webway, it would seem. Has survived Magnus's body, my lord. Right. I do not really give a shit. Has grown <laughs> tissue to a massive library. Yes. Guarded by the largest, most horrifying <laughs> clown I have ever seen. The clown. What are these tomes you carry? Is this the information on the riders of the White Scars? I must say. Who in this galaxy would ever bother recording oh, their no. in this ridiculous manner? <laughs> Oof, the sorry, White Scars are about fans. As, exciting as watching Rogel attempt to shift his facial features. <laughs> How did you even attain these? As we said, Lord, we visited a horrific cloud library by a webway connection. Is there really this much information on them? Is there something wrong? Sir, did we not get sufficient data for you? We can always. Uh, more. No, please! No use, low with a rubber band, man. I have as much as I need, and a far more than I want. Man. Did you receive these records from that conical brass to bite a Midas spare call and ex caretaker? Oh. I didn't find him, nor that house. He's a man so magnus anywhere. I was going to return. Oh, to he's sad. He misses years. him. And instead, you entered the webway. Your unequivocal idiocy never ceases to amaze. What would you like us to do now, master? You shall share in my cursed cruise for fast knowledge, child. Begging your pardon, sir. Cursed cruise. You have brought cruise. me an incredibly ponderous and dull set of records that entirely contradicts the existence of its subject matter. That being doing things very fast. Yes, gotta go Yet fast. I must gotta learn go about fast. this so I know when, how, and where these white cars shall serve. But if I am going to suffer through this dissertation of tedium, you are going to join me. Yes, suffer. Yeah, no. I forgot you were standing there. <laughs> no. Robert, you two shall listen to this gay, mundane exposition. Excellent. Bazinga. <laughs> 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 